I think uh, lack of concentration and you know I think we underestimated the opposition. The boys stuck to the plan. They did as they were told, but uh, unfortunately we had to share points, and uh, you know it's going to cost us in the long run definitely. But there's a lot to learn from this game, and I'm sure things like this are not going to be repeated anymore. The boys know it very clearly. Everyone knows it. and i think that it was very important that we got that drop because it's going to help us going forward that's for sure so i'm very positive because boys did good things on the field and now we have to learn the other things that are needed to win the league okay. coach uh, you know uh, i saw created a lot of chances as well so do you think like Taking the game to one nil in the dying embers was that a mistake? Because you could have filled the game up in the first half itself. So, do you think chances missed in front of goal is something which you regret? Definitely, we need to start converting our chances and uh, the as I said, the lack of concentration up front and underestimating the opposition was the biggest mistake. And from it outside the pitch, it's difficult for us to control players' minds. But yeah. I think there's a lot to learn, as I said, from this game, and I have been uh, working with the boys through a lot of video sessions and making sure that we don't repeat these sort of mistakes. And hopefully, that uh, we start converting our chances from tomorrow onwards. Final question, coach. How do you assess your opponents, uh, Neroka? Because Neroka are probably on the same uh, same points as you. And so, what do you think about Gift Raikhan's team? So, I think Neroka is uh, another fantastic team. I respect all the oppositions, and this match is going to be a game for second position. So, whoever wins this game goes to the second on the table. and i think it's a very very important game for us in the league and it's going to determine our future in the league as well so i think it's very very important that we take home three points again neroka is not a team to underestimate they are a young bunch of boys some good foreigners and gift has been in the i league for a couple of seasons now and he knows the i league so we have to go in with our heads held high feet on the ground and stick to the plan and i think we can hopefully we take all the three points from here Right. Thank you, coach. Uh, one question to Alfred. Alfred, uh, you know the uh, the season uh, beginning of the I League has uh, somewhat uh, somewhat been like uh, bittersweet for Iswal FC. So, how important is a win uh, tomorrow? As coach said, you could go second in the uh, in the table. So, is that something uh, you are looking forward to? Yeah, definitely. We are looking forward tomorrow for a win. That was coach said because. Win is the only must I can push out and give her more confidence because in the past game we had a lot of error and we had to learn from our errors and move move on with a good positive re response tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Alfred. Welcome. Uh, this is a question uh, for uh, Ar uh, from Arnab. What will the plan for? What is the plan for tomorrow's match? I think he's trying to say. The plan for tomorrow's match is for us. We have been working very hard. That was the first set. We did some video session and also practice how we can approach our opponent tomorrow. But we have to stick to our plan. So we have to go out, out to try to get a win. Because that is the only thing that can keep our title and also our position in the league to know that we are in a good position. So tomorrow game is a battle match, but we have to put our head on hard and try to get a good result from the game. Okay, any more? Any more? Any more question? Tomorrow is actually not this derby, so. Uh, I think they, it's going to be very high. The everything out there, even the fans are really excited about it. So, anyone, if you want to ask any more questions, I think uh, the team have practiced at eleven, so they'll be moving out at ten. I think.
<clears throat> Anyone with a question you can uh, carry forward? Yeah, uh, a question here. Yeah. Uh, uh, will the coach be available tomorrow? Hello. Coach, will you be available tomorrow? Uh, Arnab's question is. I'm still under quarantine and I'm still waiting for um, permission from AIFF. So hopefully I should be on the wheel tomorrow, but it depends on the time I get my final results. So just fingers crossed. I would love to be with the boys in the dugout. But uh, if circumstances don't hold, then so be it. I have to respect the rules. But uh, I'm going to be watching for sure <laughs> from my room. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get three points and go second on the table. It's a good place that we are in right now. Hello. Yeah, one more question, uh, Coach. Uh, how much is uh, it? Why is the third foreigner not playing, or is it? Uh, so, based on system and also a lot of players, the fitness, the style. We're trying to rotate the team against arrows. Also, we're trying to play. Uh, Indian boys, I think the third foreigner will be seen in tomorrow's game, hopefully. Can't say anything right now, but uh, yeah, we've been assessing everything based on performance and training. We've been making our lineup, and uh, yeah, that's about it. It's nothing about underperforming or anything. He's doing a fantastic job, Prince, and we really are happy with him. And hopefully, you know, you can take us to the place where we want to be. Uh, one more question: uh, What do you? How do you assess the defense of ISO FC? ISO FC's defense is good. We have Richard at the back. He's been uh, rock solid for the past. A uh, few seasons with Izon and the Indian boys around him also are fantastic. They're young young bunch, but I think they have tremendous potential and tremendous quality. They amaze me every time I see them play. So in three games, I think we've conceded two goals, and I think that it's not bad, but we can improve on a lot of things. And I'm very confident with this team. Thank you. Um, anyone, any more questions? I think we can wind up the press conference. Last question, anyone? Yeah, sure. Uh, after the question for Alfred, after the last match, uh, we saw you completely heartbroken, and how much the loss really make it difficult for Izol FC in the league. Well, actually, like play against uh, Indian Arrows, it's not a easy task. But uh, you know, for a foreign guys and even some natural local guys going against a young guns like Indian Arrows, you should expect ninety percent uh, positive result. And that was not given uh, because of the damn many we lack concentration. The white coach said. So when we came out with um, one share, and that was kind of a bit heartbroken for any player, especially we as the FC with our ambition and how we wanted for the game to be in our favor. So, but we, we learned from it and try to see how best tomorrow we can give our best shot and get a possible result that we all want. Yes, uh, thank, thank you, you. everyone. Alfred, very nice, fantastic. Uh, all the best for tomorrow's match, coach and Alfred. Uh, I hope we'll get a positive result. That we are we are all expecting. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.